hindsight yeah. is always twenty twenty. But I wanted right. to but back, back, back then, the I was so happy with the little piece. I didn't even have to. And then he would always have me. It was like a little shopping center by his house. Um, with a Dollar General. He would always have me park in that shopping center or around that shopping center to meet him. Like I would never pick him up from in front of his house or like he. I would be. Oh, it's coming back to me now. I would go drive my car to the shopping center, sit in a sit in the car like a lame duck, and then he would just walk out from wherever wherever he came from. And girl, boom. I have been there, Jesus, and I have been there. <laughs> I paid for the taxi, and I'm waiting and paying while this nigga is creeping from behind a bush. Sis, oh girl, listen, I, I, that is an important part about the story that I found was interesting was. You talked about how sneaking him into your mom's house. And I was going to ask about the method and the means, but you just elaborated. Now, what I find very interesting is, is. And I think, you think about how many girls have gotten murdered just sitting in the, in the, the car waiting for Trey. Bitch, you was, we doing it for long. We've, been, we've been talking a long, we've been doing this a long time because that's exactly where I was going to go. That's exactly where I was going to go. Ladies, imagine this. You are on your way to meet a man who's already insecure, already demonstrated that he ain't that nigga, that he ain't gonna stand for you, he ain't finna rock with you. He's giving you all the signs. He's not even really pleasing you sexually, but because of that need to have that continence validation my sister talked about earlier, she's sitting in a parking lot, waiting on her trade. What we do know about majority of our stories, and I lost a beautiful, beautiful sister in the same situation here in Atlanta, is we will sit in the car and it is quite common. So when y'all, so a lot of times when people hear our stories, they go, why was she sitting in the car of a laundromat? Why was she sitting in the car of an apartment complex? Why was she sitting on the side of the road? Why was she sitting? And, and, and what we're not realizing is, is that because of the way we date and how our men act, we are conditioned to be put in situations that are unsafe for us just to accommodate a man's secret just to accommodate his secret and his personal insecurity, we will put ourselves in dangerous ass situations, not even really thinking that it's dangerous, just on yes. some, this is, the, this is the way this kind of trade operate. And I just want to deal with this kind of dirty dick trade today. And I'm going to put myself in a situation where I know I have to pick him up and he's going to give me these half-ass directions. And he's going to have to meet him somewhere around the corner. And he's going to come up skipping in his little outfit. And you hope in all of this that he is not setting you up to be murdered, killed, robbed. That this isn't some nigga that's just on the internet looking up transsexuals to hurt them, to rob them, taking advantage of our community. Because we know that the trade knows that we tend to have money on us. They know that we tend to particularly 